To anyone standing on a street corner, this truck wouldn't attract much attention at all. It's not much different on the outside. Tandem drive axles, Navistar Pro Star cab, but just wait till you get a look under the hood. Where the engine usually sits, you'll instead find this. The power control system and two 200 horsepower electric motors. Hi, I'm Jim Park. I'm in Long Beach, California, where a company called TransPower Incorporated is making the electric truck concept work. Totally electric, zero emissions tractor trailers are no longer science fiction. The company has overcome the perceived battery life limitations and actually has five trucks working today in drayage operations at the port of Long Beach, California. The trucks can pull 80,000 pound loads a distance of about 80 miles on a single battery charge. Not enough for a long distance application, of course, but ideal for local and regional work. This unit is called the Power Control and Accessory Subsystem. It's used to integrate all the truck's major control and accessory components like power steering, air compressor and air conditioning. These are all electrically driven. The unit handles the conversion of 400 DC volts to 14 DC volts to run the truck's electrical system. While the truck is moving, the PCAS converts DC power from the batteries into AC power for the main electric drive motors. While the truck is plugged in for recharging, it converts AC power from the grid to DC power for the batteries. The key to making this work is the batteries. The truck has three battery storage modules. Two are mounted on the side of the truck, replacing the fuel tanks. Another sits behind the cab. Each module holds up to 48 large format 300 amp hour lithium ion cells, providing a total of 215 kilowatt hours of total energy storage. It takes about three hours to charge the batteries from zero to 95%, and a 15 minute fast charge will keep the truck running for another couple of hours. TransPower says these batteries can last up to 10 years or 5,000 discharge cycles if they're properly maintained and not drained beyond 75% of their capacity each use. The truck has a 400 horsepower or 300 kilowatt drive system with two 200 horsepower electric motors. It uses a slightly modified Eaton Fuller 10-speed automated manual transmission. There's no clutch, no synchronizers and no reverse gear because the motors can run in either direction. It has standard drive shaft and drive axles, just like those you'd find on any other Class 8 tractor. Let's close the hood and climb inside. You'll be surprised how TransPower has made use of the existing ProStar dashboard. It looks much like any other ProStar dash panel, but the gauges offer different information. Each one shows some critical system of the truck. The speedometer is as it seems. The tack shows engine RPM, but only half of what the motors are actually turning. The voltmeter, for example, shows whether the 400 to 14 volt DC converter is working. The fuel gauge shows the battery charge level. The water temperature gauge shows the electric motor temperature. And the oil temperature gauge shows the battery temperature. Pretty clever. And over on the B panel, we have the parking brake controls and the transmission interface. At the top of the B panel, we have the charge and ready light indicators, as well as an emergency shutoff switch for the high voltage system. Let's get ready to take it for a spin. So the startup's a little bit different for this thing. Uh, turn the key on like you would with a diesel. Truck goes through its little system check process. That's kind of normal. And then what we have to do is turn the key just to cycle the system through one time. Turn it over, as it will, but there's nothing to turn over. It's just a matter of uh, getting the batteries kind of primed and ready to go. So as I've done that, system's now going through what it needs to do on the battery side. I've got a solid green light in the dash that says ready and my tack is active so that means I'm pretty much ready to go. All I have to do now to start moving is release the brake, put it in drive and away we go. And when I take off I want you to listen really carefully to how much noise this thing makes. That little winding you hear is actually gear noise, it's not motor noise. This thing is virtually silent. What's interesting about this electric concept, of course, is all the noise you couldn't hear from a truck when you have a conventional diesel now shows up, so we hear squeaks and rattles and all sorts of things that uh, engineers are going to have to work to uh, work to silence, but that's just a byproduct of having a totally silent uh, drive system. Driving the truck isn't much different from driving a diesel. It goes up through the gears the same way a diesel does. You'll feel the shifts, you just won't be able to hear them. Here's one thing that you will notice. 
Since electric motors deliver 100% of their torque output as soon as you depress the pedal, it gets up and goes very quickly. And stopping's no different. We even get a little help from a regenerative braking system. We've got a slight little hill we're going down here. Let me take my foot off the accelerator pedal. And uh, that's where the regenerative braking kicks in. It's sort of the electric version of an engine brake. Uh, now the wheels are turning the motor and actually generating electricity and pumping that back into the batteries. So you've got a retarding effect from that as well as power generation, which is important, obviously, in a battery-driven system. This project is actually a greater accomplishment than it looks. TransPower says the trucks can manage 80 to 100 miles on a single charge with zero emissions. That's a real benefit in populated areas where trucks are traditionally unwelcome. TransPower has been testing trucks like this one in drage service since 2011. The company has five shunt trucks and a school bus in real-world testing as well. As day cab tractors go, this one's a bit heavy at 22,000 pounds. Joshua Goldman, the vice president of business development at TransPower, told me they're working to get the weight down to between 18 and 20,000 pounds with a battery range of 120 to 150 miles. As for the cost of such a truck, Goldman says they are commercially viable and offer a payback in as little as 150 to 200,000 miles. TransPower says it has pending orders with major OEMs and battery and truck leasing programs that could make this truck cheaper to lease or own than a diesel. This has been Focus On, featuring a fully electric Class 8 tractor from TransPower Incorporated. In Long Beach, California, for heavy-duty trucking and today's trucking, I'm Jim Park.